guys, Coop here. Let's make a bracelet. Now this is uh, one of JD's more popular bracelets. It's the back-to-back -back feather bar, and it is reversible. So with all you guys out there that have flat buckles, you'll get two bracelets in one. Big treat on this one. Uh, for you guys that like the back side of it better than you like the front side, real easy fix. Before you start, just take your buckles, turn them over, clip them in upside down, make your weave, and once you're done, boom, turn it over, you got the other side up. So uh, anybody that likes ball and loop, boom, link for that will be down below. Go over and check out JD's video. It's an awesome video, just like all his videos are. And uh, let's get started. Now you guys all know I use my cow hitch, half hitch, lark's head, whatever you want to call it, down on the bottom. I pull my cord straight up top. I go through the top, out the back side. Now to lock this in, we're going to take our secondary color here. We're going to pull it in between and just drape it over the top, get it out of the way for right now. So to start this off, we're just going to take right side we're going to go over going to take the left side just like you're going to do a Solomon bar take it in behind just like that guys pull it down tight boom there you go halfway there alright guys let's start in on this puppy go ahead and pull your orange over the top or your other cord over the top and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the right side, we're gonna go under the right side core, over the left side, out through the other side. Should look like that. Now we're gonna take the orange on the left side, we're gonna go over the tag in, we're gonna go under the left side core, over the right side core, and through the hole. Should look just like that, guys. And we're going to tighten her on down. Push it all up. Now we're ready for the second one. We're going to take, pull the original cores. We're going to repeat the same process again. We're going to take the right side. We're going to go under the right, over the left out the other side. Now we're going to take the left side, we're going to go over, under the left side core, over the right side core, through the hole. Should look just like that. We're going to tighten her on down. All right, now we're going to take the orange. Going to go again. We're going to go under the right side, over the left side. Take the left side. We're going to go over, under the left side core. <coughs> Excuse me. Over the right side core, through the hole. Should look just like that. Pull her up tight. Now we're going to repeat the process again. Right side, under, over, out the other side. Left side, over, under, over, through the hole. We're going to just work it on up tight. We're going to do this last one, and then I'm going to pause you guys and pick back with you up at the end. We're going to go under, over. We're going to go over, under, over, and through the hole. Tighten it on up. All 
We'll do one more, and then I'll pause you guys, pick up at the end. Under, over, out the other side, over, under, over, through the hole. Pull her on up tight. All right, guys, I think you've got the hang of it now. Go ahead and work on the rest of your knot, and we'll pick up at the end. All right, guys, let's finish this puppy off. Now, if you've got fids, now would be a good time to put them on. You don't have to have fids. Needle nose pliers or forceps work just as good. It's just I've got four sets of fids, or two, yeah, four fids, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, we'll go ahead, and when you get down this close, it's just real easy with this old fid just to get right in there. And like I said, you go right side, under and over. Left side, you go over, under, over, through the hole. Get them out of the way for a minute. Should look just like so. And we just tighten it on down just like we have been throughout the whole bracelet. Keep pushing her up. Keeping everything nice and tight. I think I got one more pass, and that's going to be probably about it. Go under, over. Then you go over, under, through the hole. You get down this... Uh, close down here it's kind of a tricky little beast but nothing we can't handle all right yeah I can grab one I can get one more through there maybe two I think I'm going to try for one more, guys. Oh my, we got her done. Look at there. All right. Now, depending on what side you want to use, is going to depend on what you're going to do from here on out. Uh, if you want, you can just easily snip and singe, and everything will be fine. Or you can tuck it. I don't have this on flat buckles. I'm going to use this as the side up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it. As tight as this knot is, I don't think that we have to tuck it very far. I think I'm just going to tuck it right there. Take this one. Do the same thing. We're going to tuck it right there. And of course, we will take our scissors that I do not have sitting over here. Hold on a second, guys. take and just snip them let them fray that way it won't irritate anybody's skin now we're going to take these two orange puppies we're going to do the same thing I'm going to tuck it right in there beside it
do one more. Alrighty guys, that's the underneath side of it. We're going to cut it. Let it fray. And everything will be good. And there you go, guys. That's one back-to-back -back feather bar. I like the front side better than I like the back side. All right, guys. You guys want to put your comments and questions down below? I'll be more than happy to answer anything you post. I appreciate you watching my videos. Appreciate you supporting my channel it means a lot to me. You guys, run on over, check out JD's video. Link for that will be down below. You guys all know we've got the Facebook page up and going. Link for that down below. Run over and hit the like button if you like what you see. If you don't, you just wasted a couple minutes of your time. With all that being said, my friends, old Coop's pretty much going to say, Coop out.